day one of Christmas vacation. Let's go see if we can find some video games and toys. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and finally I found some more video games. Now we went to our local haunts, obviously there was nothing in that thrift store. We also went out to Walmart, like I mentioned we were on Christmas vacation and surprisingly there was some stuff that was on liquidation. Uh, Transformers and some Star Wars figures. I also grabbed Dallas a Switch for her birthday, that's what she wanted, so that's what she's getting. Quickly to check, and we have Airwave for nine dollars. He was the only one that was on sale, but I lucked into Gigawatt, so I picked up uh, one for myself, and I think I'm gonna save the other one for our 3,000 subscriber contest. Uh, I made a point of grabbing Battle Cat right away when the Masters of the Universe stuff first came out. Now they are all over the place. We also won a hoverboard in a Facebook uh, contest. Arkham's testing it out. So last week a friend of mine messaged, he says, Hey, I'm cleaning out the basement and I came across a bunch of Genesis, Nintendo games and a system. Are you interested? So I wound up picking up the whole lot for $80. I'll show you everything at the end of the episode, obviously. One of the cooler things that I found in Walmart on the liquidation Isles, you know, my favorite place to go, the Liquidation Isles, the Play Mobile Back to the Future, and the Scooby Doo Mystery Machine are on sale now. Now, normally they're about 50 bucks in Walmart, and I think there's 60 in Toys R Us Canada, but I lucked into this one, it was $35. So, this is something that's gonna, you know, eat up some time on Christmas vacation when the girls are out uh, visiting or napping. You know, we're going to try and do the whole social distancing thing, so we're going to try and visit our in-laws um, sparsely and, you know, with not as many people as possible. I also found a bunch of these at EB's. These are those um, repaints and renames of some of the uh, War for Cybertron Transformers. So I picked up uh, the three of them that I didn't have. Three or four of them. We'll have to take a look in a second but I just love these repaints. This one's Hubcap, um, a mold off of Cliff, Cliff Jumper. He kind of looks like Bumblebee, but he's got uh, a jacked up face with like a weird crown on it. I don't know, he's gonna stay in car mode. Look at that mug. And then here is the third one that I picked up, again, with the EB's card, these are like $3 less, so they're about 27 bucks, actually cheaper than buying them off the shelves at Walmart or Toys R Us. And this is Decepticon Exhaust, which is a repaint of Wheeljack with, uh, you know, just a brighter white color and a new ninja style face, but, you know, I actually prefer Exhaust to Wheeljack. And we'll have a comparison quickly of them right here. His color is brighter and the head sculpt is much better in my opinion. Continuing along with the Transformers, this is the 35th anniversary Back to the Future uh, DeLorean. This is Gigawatt the Transformer. And another one that I want to open, unbox, transform and do a video about. So we won't go too much more into them except that Gigawatt I picked up. Two of them. So when we hit 3,000 subscribers, this is going to be one of our giveaway prizes. We're at about 2,915 while I'm recording this. So if you're a longtime subscriber or a new subscriber, this is going to be one of the prizes when I hit 3,000 subscribers. Another cool little item I picked up at a variety shop. This is one of those loot crate boxes, one of those extra things that they give you. It was a standalone box, which I thought was pretty funny, pretty cool. It's a little vinyl toy of a xenomorph walking a facehugger to a fire hydrant. I don't know, I liked it. At that same place, I picked up another Mondo Gecko. This one actually has the tail, so he's the one that's going to be on my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shelf along with this Raphael. It has a wind-up gimmick on it, but I'm not really sure. Had to have been in the mid-90s, I can't recall this one. I think 
Blitzwing, correct me if I'm wrong, which of the Seekers this was, picked him up for a dollar, not much to him, he swivels at the waist. Another one I'm going to need help with guys, what series is this from? My daughter has already taken her, which was the point of me buying her, but this is a very tall Barbie-esque uh, Princess Leia. So if you know what she is, let me know down in the comments. I also grabbed a 1993 Bandai Black Power Ranger. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. My brother used to collect these, picked him up for two bucks. He'll probably go on the shelf. Too lazy to Google, I guess. Here's another Optimus Prime. I know he's missing a lot of pieces, but there's something about broken or missing piece Transformers that I have a soft spot in my heart for them, so I picked up this Optimus Prime. Another $3 Transformer. If you know what he is, let me know, please. And then here are the two Star Wars toys that I picked up. Normally $30 at Walmart, now they're on liquidation for 9 bucks. so I picked up Han Solo. And here on the back card, you can see that there were six figures available. Only two were left on the uh, rack, so again, Han and Leia I picked up. Six? Did I say six? I meant five figures in this original run. And then the Transformer, the Decepticon Airwave, he's normally $27, $29, but I picked him up uh, again on liquidation for $9, like you saw a little earlier. Uh, I didn't originally pick him up when this wave came out because I'm not a huge fan of these parts forming transformers, but you now for nine bucks I'm gonna give him a chance. And then we stopped at the dollar store and uh, Dal ran in to get some wrapping paper and some extra Christmas tags and I saw these Mon toys. They were a dollar twenty-five each. It appears that there are, let's count the number properly, sixteen of these. I grabbed six of them, you know, for a buck twenty-five. I know they're cheap, but at the same time, they're fun, and I like having these guys. I have like a whole dedicated knockoff junky toy shelf dedicated just to these toys. So I picked up, uh, like I said, five or six of them. I wish they were all available because, you know, it still would have only cost uh, like all of 25 bucks to pick them up. But, you know, I'm going to transform these. I might even do a little uh, video on them just to say, you know what, look at these little Mon toys that I got. And that's the shelf way back there of all my knockoffs and Mon toy transformers. There's something about them that I like. Now, for the moment that we've all been waiting for for this channel, video games have finally come back. Oh my goodness. So this is The Simpsons Bart, Bartman Meets Radioactive Man, which was just recently reviewed on AVGN. WWF WrestleMania by Acclaim. LJN, one of their better games. This is Friday the 13th. I really enjoy playing that game. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, another great one on the NES. The original Ninja Turtles game, difficult, but you know, still worth playing. Karate Kid, very hard, LJN, I don't care for it. Super Mario Bros. 3, what NES lot would be complete without it. Yoshi, some of these have the dust covers on them. A Combo Kart, Mario Bros, and Duck Hunt, another staple of any NES lot. Here we have Quantum Fighter, Kabuki Quantum Fighter by HAL. I don't have this one, that's going right into the collection. And now, Astyax? Astynax? I don't know. <laughs> if you know the phonetic pronunciation in the comments, let me know. Qbert by Ultra, pretty close to the arcade, although not as good. Then we have a Terminator 2, mm, rough cover, but actually I don't have it. That's going into the collection. And then rounding it all out with Jurassic Park by Ocean. Another, you know, pretty fun NES game. And then, of course, the NES itself. You know, it's it's been played. It's come out of a basement, but it still works, and I'm happy to have it. I'm, you know, I'm going to find a good home for it. And also two controllers, and you can tell that this came from a home with brothers. Beat up, but still, you know, in working order. And that's what I loved about these NES Mattel controllers, man. They could take a beating. And if you ask my younger brother, he used to swing them around like a mace. They were used as a weapon. Now, these weren't originally part of the deal. I bought the Genesis games and the Nintendo games for and the system for $80, which I thought was a very fair, fair deal right off the bat. But when I got there, my buddy said, hey, you know what, I found some uh, Nintendo 64 games too, and I'm going to throw these three in as well. 
how did Raven get on the cover with those guys? But yeah, three free uh, Nintendo 64 games, and then the Genesis games, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Look at that dust. I love finding games like this. So glad that my buddy reached out. Mortal Kombat 2. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. NHL 95. Classic, love this one. And of course, Mortal Kombat 3. And then a game that I don't have for the collection, and something that I've never played when I was a child. Pacific Theater of Operations. Looks very military strategy. And Mortal Kombat 1. So 1, 2, and 3, all in this um, pack of Sega Genesis games. And look at that mess. I need to start cleaning because Santa's on his way. We have a lot of presents wrapped. I've been doing uh, wrapping on the side, as I'm sure many of you have. So, of course, I started just handing up some of the toys that I'm going to leave packaged. These are the um, 2020 Masters of the Universe and a bunch of Dollar Store Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nickelodeon, and some of my Star Wars figures just to clean up the room. And that's going to do it for another episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching down in the comments. Let me know about the stuff that you've picked up recently. And let me know which videos you'd like to see. I want to do an unboxing and review of Gigawatt. And I also want to open up that Play Mobile Back to the Future DeLorean. So, you know, let me know down in the comments. Happy holidays, guys.